don't feel them yet. I still have piggy number three sitting here. I don't feel my edibles yet, though. I am going to try to talk Zeke into getting McDonald's or something, though, when my stream's over. Because I'm hunger. And McDonald's has got to be open, right? Something's got to be open. Probably. You go for some nuggies. On board! Love my drugs! Look what I have. Oh my god, it's Pango! <gasps> I'm so proud of you right now. Some were in there. I think there are a bunch of woman haters. I mean, I don't know what it is. People attack the genders, but people just attack each other. I honestly think gender is another excuse that people are starting to use just to attack one another because people want to attack one another. I'm just starting to get to that point where I think humans are just violent and we're looking for excuses at this point to be mean to each other and spread the greater than thou bullshit. That's all I can come up with because nothing else makes sense. Where, what happened to compassion and like, I don't know, anything. Nady, I know, isn't it weird, dude? I know, welcome. You know my, I used to be the night mother. Like I used to go live around now and be live until like 5 a.m. So weird to think about. I know. So it seems like like a t different time. It's like a different era. Different streamer. Yeah. I know, Nady, you always show up during the gender combos, which is so fucking perfect. Guys, if you didn't know, I saw Nady's, Nady's pre-dick pic. So, you know, we're like pretty close. It's no big deal. Ooh, tear, nice. Compassion was crowded out by pride. Do you guys think, this is a good question, I really want a legitimate answer. Do you think compassion is taught? Or do you think people are taught not to have it anymore? What? Sorry? I think it's both. I think you can both be taught and learned. I mean, or like taught or just like acquired naturally. You don't think you're bored with it though. Like it's learned, it's a learned thing. I don't know. Does that goes back to like an ultimate debate of are people born good or evil, if either. No, I think compassionate. You don't have to be like good or evil to have compassion. I mean, compassion's not really a because good and evil are just words. That's just like words humans use, I think. I don't think those really mean anything. You think they're born with it? Sometimes I think they are too. Like I think there are some people that just ha I, they're like void on the inside. I don't know what happened. But they seem to lack like human compassion. Like. These people that just gain this immense amount of wealth and, you know, hoard it and <clears throat> don't care that half the world's starving to death and dying and Flint, Michigan still doesn't have any water when really, like, it would be pocket change for Bezos just to fix it. Like, why not? Just have the goodness of your heart. Fuck taxes. Fuck all that shit. Why don't they help people? It's weird. I just think about it sometimes. Cause like, I feel like I have an innate goodness. Like I don't have instincts that are to hurt people, I guess. I aim not to hurt people with my interactions with most people, unless they come after one of my friends, in which case I will come for you. <laughs> but um, you know what I mean? Like for some people, I feel like that's a drive or something. I don't know. I'm just always curious. Cause like you show, they show videos of babies with like, you know, like newborns with puppies and stuff and they love them. They don't hurt them. Their instinct isn't to hurt the puppy. It's to like, you know, sleep with it and cuddle it and love it. But I wonder why some people aren't born with it. Or maybe they were and it was just like taught out of them or it was taught to be directed in a different way, like compassionate towards money or something. I don't know. My mom taught me not to hurt anything when I was a kid. Don't hurt anything. Don't hurt anything. I things. think it can be taught out of them, I, like, in that case. I feel like it's a big thing with guys as well. You think so? Mm-hmm. 
it's like, don't be a pussy, like. Oh God, the toxic masculinity bullshit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, faux hammer, I feel that. Oh, zombies. I saw the pain and suffering of others and was never the same, man. I've always, I feel like I've always had compassion. Like, I remember quite clearly, I was like six, five or six years old and my mom hit a deer. It was the first time I'd ever been in a car for a deer, for an actual deer hit, never been there. And um, it was suffering. And I remember I was sitting in the front seat and we had this old silver uh, Subaru Legacy like wagon. And I just started crying and screaming that I could feel the deer. I could not feel the deer, but I think like my little kid words were like, I was feeling the, the pain of what was going on, but it, what came out was I could feel the deer and my mom thought I was crazy. But I've always been that way, like saving little animals when I was a kid and hugging people when they don't feel good. Get in there. <gasps> oh, Spaz. Thank you. I mean, Match 12, now that I'm an adult and I, I have had copious uh, deer destroy my vehicles, I hate them. Deer are fucking stupid animals and I despise them. They taste very good. But as a child, I mean, just hurting animals. I mean, I would never hurt a deer with no purpose. I would eat the thing, at least, and praise its stupidity in my mouth. As stupid as they are, you know? Deer are terrible. I've lost so many fucking cars to deer. And I'm not kidding you, they hit you. I don't care what you say, they hit you. Deer are insane. <laughs> deer are crazy stupid. Like... Especially if they're horny. Steven, I get that. I don't like the words good and evil because they denote like, kind of like what Eliza and I were talking about earlier, like it's subjective. Like to a Catholic, evil is eating meat on Friday. You know, evil to me is lying. But the Bible says that you can lie as long as you're spreading the word of Jesus because in the end, all that matters is spreading the word. So to some people, good and evil is different. So I don't, it's hard to like generalize that. That's why I liked like compassion because I feel like compassion denotes something beyond like your actions and how they define you. It, it it's compassion is how you treat those who can't benefit you in any way. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, Zombifier. I remember when I um, started taking driving lessons, my dad said, if you ever see a deer in the road, hit it. And I was like, why? He's like, it's you or the deer. Scary shit. Working in the restaurant, I have had dishwashers give their paychecks to other line cooks, but managers can't give you bus fare. Why? It seems odd. Is that like a rule or are they just selfish cocks? Excuse my language. Maybe for 2021, I shouldn't cuss. Wouldn't that be a fun one day? Hour. You can make this a nice Catholic stream. Doesn't your uh, bio or about me say queen of vulgarity? Yes, yes it does. <sighs> and ruler of all that is unholy. I don't think it would really work out for me. Dead Kel, I am. I mean, technically at 10 o'clock is midnight for the East Coast. That's probably when I'll take off. Um, cheers with Eliza. Cheers with all my East Coast lovers. <gasps> Spill this bloody bucket everywhere, get some food, and then sit in Zeke's stream for midnight. So I'm not like really leaving. I'm just gonna go sit and watch some shit with him and then, you know, ring in the new year. Those things and stuff. Oh my God, Vissy, that sounds like a terrible time. I mean, Steven, how do you diagnose a sociopath because they're defined by being able to fake it? 
I was told I was so I, uh, when I, when my dad died when I was little, my mom sent us therapy as you should because we were very young and our dad died in front of us, and he told my mom I had sociopathic tendencies, and to this day I still don't know what that means, but I think it's just my ability to shut off. I'm emotional on the inside, but I can hide it really well if I need to. Like I'm very private with my emotionals. Emotionals, yeah. Okay, good job. <laughs> And, but as a kid, that's not seen often, so he told my mom I literally had sociopathic tendencies. It's just some of the most bullshit I've ever heard in my life. But you know what? To each their own, right? <laughs> oh, Steven, wow. Uh, why? Oh my god, Deloney, I can't believe I did that so fast. You know what it is? because I was so stupid excited. I was so excited to be in that campaign. Like, Wack knows that Harry Potter's like my favorite thing in the entire world and I live for it, even though the writer's a turf. Um, I just fucking, I was just way too excited for that game. No shit, Ike. Wow. You know, Steven, you might want to tell your friend this. Um, when I was a respiratory therapist, I, before I quit, one of the leading reasons was I felt myself shutting down emotionally as like a defense mechanism because of the sheer amount of trauma you see and experience every day on a personal level with your patients. And I was getting to the point where turning it back on, quote unquote, was like detrimental to my mental health. And so I was leaving it off all the time. So what you're saying is you were experiencing sociopathic tendencies. Yes, disassociative. Wouldn't that be disassociative or sociopathic? Mm, Very much so. a little so. bit of both because disassociation, I'm pretty sure, is a big thing of sociopath. Is it? Yeah. Very much so. Because you have to. You just... The human brain can't handle seeing dead kids every day naturally. It doesn't work. So it's not like you create a fantasy world, but you kind of just... It's like dark humor. You start dealing with it in a weird way in your head. Some people overeat. A lot of nurses and respiratory therapists are raging alcoholics. Everybody deals with it in a certain way. Aw, oh, Rick. What a good song, though. Happy New Year, honey. Cheers, Viata. Oh my god, my arms. The use of people through deception for the purpose of seizing power and possessions or for the purpose of driving, deriving personal enjoyment and gratification through the suffering of others. Cruel and deliberate spread of pain and despair, whether or not the power and possessions are obtained. It does not happen. It is chosen practice and intended. I like that. So it's more like you... Yeah, okay. Because when I think the Ouch, you I touch myself. Ooh. What a wonderfully timed alert, Spaz. Thank you. <coughs> Cheers, Viata. Sorry. Who? Cheers. I'm not on stream, right? Uh, uh. You're good. That did fit really well. I love me some dark humor, but dark humor to cope, like, ugh. it just starts to get kind of ugly. You start to see a weird, ugly part of yourself. Zombies, it is me and Eliza, a la E. Cook, my community manager. Hello. We're cleaning bloody hallways together for the new year because we're gonna wash this year right out of our hair and set, oh. Send it on its way. There are Cheers. people out in Times Square. That sucks. Sure glad I'm not in New York. They're gonna get down, my dudes. All right. Oh. It's almost a new year for the East Coast, I know. Eliza, you're like 14 minutes from New Year's. Yeah, we'll probably miss it, to be honest. 
Uh, my friend Ginny's from New York, but I don't think he's here right now. He's probably with family. Samafi, are you even shocked? Have you seen the pictures, like, that Gluttony's shared of Florida? And, like, the insane beaches covered? Drunk. Oh, Knives. How you doing, buddy? I mean, I'm pretty high. Kempster, I'm gonna be with Zeke. So, no worries. If you want to hang out over there. I didn't plan to go. I mean, I've already streamed, like, eight hours. So, I didn't plan to go forever. I figure I will take the dogs out and order some food and then, like, jump into Discord with Eliza and just sit with Zeke and watch his fucking jerk off. What are they, what are they called? Last Week in Zeke's. Wine drunk wasn't bad for me when I was in Italy. However, the wine here with sulfates gives me major migraines. I gotta get organic wine so it doesn't have sulfates in it. I'm that bougie now. Because otherwise I'd just literally get an immediate migraine. Spaz, what? Knives, I told Zeke about my frog and he was like, what? You named the mystery frog Knives the bitch? I'm like, yeah, because he kept bugging me about forgetting it. He's like, I mean, it did come in a leaf. I was like, I know! It's a leaf, Dadpole! Lived in a jar. Misty forklift, Dad. Have you seen it? Um, I didn't move it. Uh, I think it's down in this hallway. It was, wasn't it? My cray. Wasn't it like right here? Can we move in here? Can we... Oh, I didn't take it anywhere, so if you moved it, I have not seen it. I don't think I moved it. Oh, bitch, why? Not today's stick uh, bug. But it is gone, I think. The leaf and name it. No, it's not a leaf, it's a frog. And the significance is nothing at all. I have no idea. Nothing. A mystery. There's a ton of significance, actually. You have to figure it out, though. It's a puzzle. And if you figure it out, uh, my only cans goes free. And I lose all my income, and I lose my house, and that's on you. So, thanks for that. Flame knives! Flame knives! Flame knives! Flame knives. I don't know where it went, man. Did you take it somewhere? I don't think so. Me neither. The significance is you kept asking about it and it didn't have a name. Really, that's it. It's no more complicated. We kind of need that. Hmm. I'm very, is it upstairs? I wonder if it was upstairs and we just thought it was down here because we're dumb. I bet it's upstairs. It has to be because neither of us took it out, dude. It's so weird. You are not insignificant, Knives. Are you kidding me? Shut the fuck up. Don't do a drunk pity party, bitch. I will come down on you with nudes of Zeke so fast. You won't even know what hit you. It's not up here. I swear to God, I didn't move it. I've, I am baffled. I've literally checked everywhere it could be as well. Hmm. And we found it, right? Like, I'm not hallucinating that we I We did. I before. even, I made it go to the ceiling. I was like, oh, look, it's the thing. But I didn't take it I anywhere. What if it's stuck in the ceiling? I just, like, pushed the button on it so it went up. But we, it would still be in the hall. Right? Maybe. Ew, firework. Oh, I know, isn't it sick? You like spread a mess everywhere you go and you're just constantly trying to back it up. It kind of definitely takes like a certain like order of operations to do it right. Otherwise you're just tracking mess. Heard Zeke nude. Oh my God, I still haven't shared this picture with you guys. I have the best picture of Zeke nakedly cuddling his uh, fucking body pillow I got him for Christmas. The Yakuza one, like passionately snuggling it nude it's great there's no dick or anything it's twitter safe oh fuck my dick hole i hate myself no i don't i'm just kidding 
I ain't Don't got a clue where it be. I ain't got a clue where it be. The el the escalator, elevator, forklift. Yeah, thing. I was looking in the furnace to see if we missed it for some reason. Oh no! Don't tell me we accidentally burned it. How could we? You can't pick it up. Yeah, you can. I mean, that would suck. Can you, like, lose one? I don't know how we could accidentally burn a forklift, but maybe. Thank you for the follow. Really, Pesolero, dude? It's pretty... Oh. Don't mind that. It's a really fun game. See? You get water. You clean up. Because we're going to wash this year right out of our lives and send it on its way. Fuck this year. I'm hungry, my dudes. What do I get for dinner? Taco Bell. Oh my god, I love Taco Bell. You think they're open on New Year's? <laughs> Probably. When is Taco Bell not? Oh, I just got so hungry. Because I hit the jackpot as to what you wanted. My postmate driver brought me the wrong smokes. Perfect end of this year. You know, zombies, what could what could be better though? What was more fitting? I wonder why. Dude, banana word. The only thing that's good that came out of this year is more people wash their hands than normal, which is crazy. People should be washing their hands, you're fucking adults. But because of that, I haven't gotten sick. I think I got like one sickness and of course it was when Eliza visited because mm -hmm. that's the world we live in but I got sick once and usually I literally live just with sinus infections constantly so that's been kind of nice oh, oh my god Nady, what did you get what's your order hmm? do we know a passcode no I haven't seen one that's what I was saying like I've been reading the notes and everything I have not seen a fucking passcode I did find four bullet holes though. Hmm. Oops, that's bloody. Me too, Steven! Dude, nonstop. This is the first Christmas of my life I think I wasn't sick. I'm usually just constantly sick during the holidays because it's just gross and everybody's traveling and disgusting. And kids are out of school. Masks and hand washing have really done me wonders, man. I'm not mad. <clears throat> try 2199. Jack says try 2199. Did you see um, that somewhere? Are you fucking with me? Did, did you, you just tell us from another game? Or are you fucking with us? Miss it? See, it's Jack, so I, I, you know. My thing fell off my mic. No, I ate it, zombie. Third little piggies in my tum tum. Time to wait for the activation of the piggies. I already forgot what code they said, so... 2199, I think. <laughs> Cheese quesadilla with sour cream, supreme soft taco, and those incredible... Oh my god, those cinnamon bite things. If I get fat this Christmas, it's because of those, maybe. I'm not even kidding you. Like, I buy the 12-pack, and I have to tell Zeke to take them away because I'll eat the entire thing. This might be where I'm at. Worth it. They're so fucking good, dude. You know, I used to be a um, crispy... What are they called? A... Uh, uh, what's it called? Crunchwrap Supreme person. But nowadays, I've been really into those... Bla the, they're like a... Chal I think they're called a chalupa. It's like a crispy taco kind of. Mm -hmm. I get black beans in it. They're so good. Were you the one that turned me on to those? I don't know if I did, but chalupas are definitely really good. They're fucking amazing. Code oink. Are you making fun of me? Did you just call me fat? Because I am, and I'm cool with it. I make money off this chub, and I'm, I'm down. I'd like to buy a Jeep. And if it takes my special starfish to get a Jeep, that's what it takes. But for what real, I do want to cheat. What the heck? 2199, it doesn't work. Unless I'm just not pressing the right buttons. Once, oh my god, we got the 12 pack too. I 100% of the whole oh, thing. Oh yeah. Not. 
Oh, dude, I literally will be like, Zeke, eat some of these because I think I've plowed through like half. I just can't stop eating them. They're so fucking good. It's dark in here. You know, Faux Hammer, I've never lived in an area where I seriously needed four wheel drive and I, I do need it here. Like if it snows, I don't live in a place where we get plowed. Like our, our roads don't get plowed right away and I literally can't go anywhere. I just want to trade my car in and I've always wanted to Jeep my whole life. I really like them. They're outdoorsy. I don't understand the perk of coming in this room. I don't know. Did it work, Eliza? Yeah, but there's not really anything in here. Oh, she says, yeah, but there's not really anything in there. You guys didn't it's hear like it. an empty room, pretty much. There's like a little bit of stuff in here, I guess, but like... Maybe it's so if we don't find the code, it's not like super negative points, you know? I hate my life. Wait, what? I needed the code to get in. Oh, I, I see. You know what I'm saying? Like if we didn't find that code, it wouldn't yep. like totally fuck our score. Oh my God, Eliza, it's three minutes. Three minutes mm. until you're fucking, if you care. Do I have a bowl? <laughs> I do, I'm ready. Steven, that's me with Zeke. Like, I always order too much and I can't eat it all and I don't know what it is. Mexican food fills me up so fucking fast and it pisses me off because I want to be a cow. Like, I could be fatter if my stomach would allow. I'm ready. I'm watching chair. Chair. I mean, Nady, a problem solved. Get two 12 packs. Make her think you got one to share and you devour pack number one you know, in the kitchen. No, I felt, I just was joking, that's cool. That's cool. Two minutes. I'm gonna pre-cheers. If I pre-cheers, my bowl will be empty. Oh, top it off, lady. Okay. What in the heck? Okay. I gotta cheers for my Be More Bitches. And Jersey, I guess. That's my second family. God, Eliza's mom and Zeke's mom say they love me more than anyone else. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> 2020, get the love of my mom. <laughs> I love you too, Spaz. 30 seconds. I'm ready. I'm topped. I'm fucking I'm dankly the, uh, ready, my dudes. The uh, ball drop. Are we watching that? I have it up. Do you have a link? Oh, is this it? Uh, maybe 